Good morning, this is Bob Miller of Bob Miller Success with day 221 of where I practice gratitude success by naming at least one person every single day this year who I'm grateful for. And today I've got five people I want to name. First, I want to name Len Mooney, who's here with me. Actually, he's not, I, I just left him. I, I ran over here. He went, he's, he's over there where, where Andy the Gru of Fiesta Island is right now. <clears throat> he's setting up his camera. We're going to do a, we're going to do our, his coffee with Len. The other people I want to mention, Esther Hicks from Abraham, who Wayne Dyer says he's been following her for 30 years. And every, and what she does, she channels an intelligence. So whether you believe in that sort of stuff or not, if Wayne Dyer says something and, and he really endorses some person or, 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 or thing, I'm going to follow it. It's Check her out. If you don't know who Abraham is or Esther Hicks, just just, just Google it. Go to YouTube. There's, just, there's a lot of intelligence there. And she's always, she's always talking about just attracting good things to you. Don't focus on, on bad things. And that's where, that's where Mother Teresa comes in. Mother Teresa... Who everybody knows her. But there's even, I mean, you can even find anti Mother Teresa posts out there if you want to. But one of the things that Len and I were talking about yesterday uh, were, was uh, how she would, she, she would, one of her famous quotes was people always ask me why I don't attend anti war rallies. And she said, well, when they make an, a pro peace rally, then I'll attend it. So it's all, it's all about what we focus our mind on. And Kate Allen is another person I want to name today. Kate is a, was locked in. She's a stroke survivor, and there's a I, she was a subject of a, a YouTube video or a, or a TED talk that, that I that I watched yesterday that I shared from a doctor in Glasgow, Scotland, and so they had a picture of, of Kate when she was locked in, when she was totally paralyzed, and all she was thinking about was moving her thumb. She visualized just moving her thumb, totally just for, for weeks and weeks and re, weeks just to focus on it, and reminded me. When I was paralyzed, my left side was paralyzed, and I just kept focusing on, on attempting to move my hand. And, and eventually, one day when we had a little birthday party for my for my ex-wife inside the, the rehab hospital, my kids came, my little bird came, everybody, and the doctor squeezed my hand. He wanted me to shake. He wanted me to shake with my left hand, and I got a little bit of movement in it, and was like, wow. It was like, holy mackerel. So if you focus on, on positive things, if you focus on possibilities, not things you can't do, don't focus on the war on crime, the, the war on poverty. Focus on peace. Focus on, on abundance. If, if you do that. And then the last, last person that I, I want to name here is a good friend of mine, Michelle Wiederman. Michelle, last year I, I met her, and she was all, every day was posting a video. It was, she was get out of her comfort zone, and she was focusing on, on attracting abundance and, and just good things into her life and we became really good friends and I would, I would just I she popped up in my news feed yesterday and I said Michelle I just I sent her a message she got back with me but I was too late for me to get back with her but a good friend of my really really close friend and I just said man I've been doing these gratitude videos every day this year and I haven't mentioned her once so so I, I'm putting Michelle Wiederman in there only because she's such an amazing person but anyway so check her out go to I, everybody here who's a who I mentioned of course Mother Teresa she's passed away you can't you can't you know, she won't accept your friendship, but all your other people, you know, accept each other's friend or, you know, get to know each other because they're amazing people. If I mention somebody, they're, they're worth, they're worth checking out and, and, and becoming connected with. So, so uh, lastly, I just want to say, go, go and take the 30 day practice gratitude success challenge where you can name one person every day for 30 days who you're grateful for. So go to the Facebook page, practice gratitude success and, and name somebody you're grateful for every day. Let them know that it's going to make them feel better. It's going to make you feel Feel better. It's going to attract abundance. It's going to attract that whole that whole positive momentum thing coming into your life. So so that's it. So go check that out. So go out there and have yourself a great day filled with positive momentum because you deserve another chance. And who are you grateful for today? And I'll talk to you tomorrow on day 222. Bye bye.